Hey, what's up you guys? It's Malie, Malie that's me, and today we're gonna talk about pageantry. <laughs> one of the number one things that gets looked over in pageants is the value of good packing skills. In today's video, I have compiled a list of 20 items that are the most commonly forgotten things by contestants. So let's go ahead and jump into this list. Item number one is something that is so underrated because it can do so many things, and that is safety pins. Safety pins can come in clutch for so many different things. Too low cut of a shirt. Number one thing that I like to use it for is I like to pin my sash to my shirt right here so that it won't slip and slide around and everything. Sometimes the contestant numbers are ribbons and you need to just safety pin that onto your dress. Item number two kind of goes hand in hand um, with safety pins and it's a little sewing kit. Let me tell you how many times a sewing kit has saved my life. I've gotten rips in my dresses, I have changed shoes and had to like bubble hem my dress real fast. I've had to help girls tack their dresses back, tack straps back. You should have a sewing kit. Band-aids. Band-aids are so good for everything. You can put it on the back of your heel for your shoe not to rub up and down so you don't get blisters. I think hot glue guns are so underrated. I swear you can have a bedazzle fall off, you, your earrings can come apart and hot glue them bad boys together. This is for my ladies with the fake nails. Make sure you bring nail glue because even if you have like a tip break off, just glue that bad boy back on glue it back on they're not you are on stage baby they are not gonna know the difference I'm a person that suffers from severe migraines and headaches so be sure to bring your Tylenol your ibuprofen your whatever you take you want to bring it please bring it there's nothing worse than a grouchy queen who has a headache also don't forget your scissors because those come in handy very often. You either have threads hanging off of your dress and cutting tags off of new items. If you're going shopping, things like that, definitely bring yourself a pair of scissors. Ladies, print out your pageant schedule before you get there. B print it out, bring it, tape it on to the back of the door so you know when and where you gotta be. So there's no excuses for you being late. Do not be the person that is late. Nobody wants to wait on you. We got pageant show to run, okay? There's hundreds of girls. Make sure you are on time, you are in your place. Print out your pageant schedule, put it on the back of your door. Bring a water bottle, a reusable water bottle. Fill that bad boy up when you go to a restaurant, something, do, stay hydrated. Pageant week can be very, very hectic and we gotta make sure to still take care of yourself because we do not need fainting queens. Drink your water, stay hydrated. Um, actually take a sip of water, right now as you're watching this take a drink of water stay hydrated don't forget your chargers and along with chargers an extension cord because in hotels they like to just place the outlets in places that are not convenient at all whatsoever i don't know what they get out of that but they are not in convenient places so make sure you bring yourself like a my outlet you know for when you're curling your hair you need to charge your phone but i use it every single time i go to a pageant there is no doubt about it, I use it every single time. Bring your pageant binder. I have an extra printed schedule in there. It has a list of all your outfits, all things like that. And if you want a separate video on what I put in my pageant binder, I will definitely do that for you guys. This is something new that I started bringing to pageants and it's like a makeup backslash cold cape kind of ties right here kind of just it's like a shawl pretty much just a little like little shawl cape will keep you nice and toasty in those cold cold ballrooms <laughs> i haven't done yet but i want to start doing um because my state pageant is two days long my national pageants is over a week long i want to bring a simple community service project that i can start with some of the other girls there. I think it's just a really cool idea. It's a good bonding experience for contestants and it's also a good time and a good way to give back. So brainstorm some simple things that you can do with the other girls to make an impact in your communities. Don't forget your full length and or tabletop mirror. Do not trust that hotel rooms or dressing rooms are gonna have full length mirrors because they probably are not going to. 
because you need it. As soon as you need something, they ain't got it. So make sure you bring your own. Be prepared. I am not even gonna lie. I almost forgot my crown and sash um, whenever I was traveling to nationals last year. Do not forget your crown and sash. That would be so embarrassing. Make sure you put it in your crown box and you're good to go. I think it's really important to bring a notebook and pens to write in to either document your experience, write some notes from coaching sessions of things you can work on. After you go to your interview, as soon as you get done, write down what interview questions they asked you so you can always prepare for next time. Uh, ladies, we are all walking in those six inch Mark Defang Chinese laundry heels, okay? We do not need to be walking in those in the whole entire hotel. So bring some cute but comfy shoes to travel in to get you to your hotel room, to the location of where your competition is, and then put your heels on. Now, there ain't no lie, I'm a thick thigh gal. And if you were like me, bring your friction stick. I think Gold Bond makes one. I think that's the one that I have. Um, so we are not getting chub rub mid-pageant week because that is awful. It is horrible. And nobody needs anybody to be doing the cowboy walk. You know what I, you know what I'm talking about with the cowboy walk. So bring your friction stick. So as I'm recording this video, I am actually using my makeup ring light. Um, this is kind of like an investment. I think I got mine for like 30 bucks on Amazon. It is so helpful for makeup and video taking and all things like that. So I would definitely bring a ring light and you can find them pretty inexpensively on Amazon. And my last item is to bring a small gift for the reigning queens or other contestants. It really does make a difference. Um, it shows that you are trying to be super friendly and it is always very appreciative. Now this isn't something that you have to do, but I think it's just something that's really nice. It can just be like a little bag of candy with like your state card in it of who you are and things. I think it was just, it's a cute little idea. And those were all of the 20 things during pageant packing that you might forget. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out some of my other videos. I will have a few of them linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share with your friends and i will see you guys on the next one <laughs>